Hello everyone, Jack here. Welcome to my thoughts on the season premiere of Duncanville. Usually I do a video for each episode, but this time I feel like throwing caution to the wind and covering two episodes in one video. So Duncanville is a new cartoon on the block, entering its second season this year after airing during the spring of 2020. It was created by Amy Poehler, Mike Scully, and Julie Scully. Surprisingly, Poehler stars as the titular Duncan and his mother, Annie, who is a meter maid that wants to become a detective. Das Banana Boat and Duncan's New Word are mainly family-centric despite the title of the show being Duncanville. In the first episode, the family goes on a week-long beach vacation, while in the second episode, Duncan's relationship with his father is explored after he shouts an expletive at his father for cock-blocking him after he broke his curfew. Yeah, the expletive moment was this big dramatic thing because it was disrespectful, but really the most surprising thing with me was the reaction that the kids at the high school had. They treated Duncan like he was some hero. I would have thought the kids would have been more ambivalent about it, but what do I know? The season premiere was my first time watching Duncanville, and for the diehard Duncanville fans that clicked on this video, I'm not going to give you an overwhelmingly positive review. I'm going to give you my actual thoughts. And I found the two episodes to be kind of average in terms of TV viewing. There were moments that I liked and moments that I did not like. For one, the moment where Duncan had a talk with his chill teacher about the importance of his father was nice. And in the first episode, there was a surprising fight scene involving a banana boat of all things. And there definitely were some curveballs thrown in there. I did not expect to see an incontinent old man's diaper being changed in the second episode. The pacing for both episodes were fine, I just found it a little light on the laughs. Though it is a very quirky show, despite looking totally mundane on the surface. So Duncan is your typical 15 year old boy, meaning that he is very, very awkward. He's this scrawny guy who struggles to do one measly sit up and when he runs, his arms flop around like he's a wacky, waving, inflatable arm tube. Also, he has a crush on a girl named Mia out of school. Since he's so awkward, he can't seal the deal, even though she is totally into him. It's kind of like a will-they-won't-they they kind of thing, but it's all hesitancy on Duncan's part. Well, he is a clunky 15-year-old boy, and if he gets the girl this early, then what would we be watching the show for aside for, you know, the humor? He and the rest of the family are definitely microcosms of the early 21st century. His dad has no idea how to be a dad, and his mom is dressed in tight-fitting yoga pants. Then you have the preteen girl who wants to be more than the average girl that she is. In addition, the family even has an adopted five-year-old girl from China. They're a dysfunctional family, but that doesn't mean they don't love each other. Also, I found out there was an episode that Alf guest stars, so I'll go back and watch that. That is definitely a plus.